Okay, but give us a tip on how to play better rounds. Like, well, it defines how you, what a better round is. Like, what's your definition of a better round? Low score? Shoot lower score, yeah. Uh, lower scores, well, first and foremost, you don't three putt when you have a birdie putt, like I did in the last hole. But it's like, I don't know, you start learning as you start getting a little bit better and better, and you can kind of feel it. And it's almost, it's more mental, like, to go low, I think, than actual ability. There's a lot of guys who chop it around the golf course, make a bunch of putts to shoot low. But, like, in order to consistently go low, it's, it's almost like there's, like, a system that you have to do. Like, certain holes that you have to birdie. And you learn that through playing all these different golf courses and stuff like that. And so you know which holes need to be birdied. But if you, like, follow that system, you're usually pretty good. I don't know, it's hard to explain because, like, a, a lot of people are going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But, like, it's true. Like, when I was shooting really low and I'd go up to, to Stone Ridge or something, like, I have to birdie, you know, four and five to really, like, feel, to start getting in a rhythm and stuff. But, like, I don't know. That's my only feeling that I get when I used to go low all the time. Okay, well, what's the distance here? Uh, I got 119. I got a sand wedge, and this pin's brutal again. It's right on the a top plateau, and there's a hazard just a little bit left. I'm just gonna send this thing pretty high and then uh, hopefully I can land on that plateau and it won't spin too much because these greens are pretty firm. I pushed it. Yeah, but missing on the right side of the greens over here is going to be better. Yeah, it's a little, a little short. short too. All right, Gabe, what are you going to hit? I got a gap wedge. Um, I mean, I mean, honestly, if you're going to go at this pin, you got some pretty good balls, dude. Yeah, I tried to go at this, that pin, but I subconsciously blocked it to go away from it. Okay, well, I'll go at the pin then, too. I don't even care for hitting the hazard. Atta boy. Uh, my tip for playing better golf, especially for me lately, is just playing more golf. If you want to play better rounds, you got to play more rounds. You can't just be going to the range and do all this stuff. you just got to get into a playing rhythm. Yeah, but know? I feel like I've been telling you that for years, and you never yeah, listen well, to me. Yeah, I just don't have a, I just don't have the time. Like, even today, you know, no warm-up or anything, and... So, especially for me. What I told Blair last time is just like, Blair's been missing a lot of those short putts left. I told Blair I keep missing my wedges right, so I keep compensating, aiming a little more left than I think I should, and it's been helping. Just yeah, a little right a of it. little right. Just try to be a decent distance. I uh, short like me. Maybe Sorry. it's slightly uphill, yeah, Blair? Yeah, and I think it might be playing a lot longer yeah, than you choke up a little bit, the tee box is slightly angled. Okay, Blair, what do you got? I got a 56 degree. Hold I have on. to go up and over a ridge and onto a plateau. It's kind of a difficult chip. But I got a good landing spot, and I think it'll be good if I land it there. Yeah, landed it there. That's pretty good. That's really well done. Thanks. Uh, once again, you need to go up and over a ridge. That's a good to get the distance right. All right, Gabe, you got pretty much the same chip as me that I just had, but in putting form. Yeah. Put up that plateau. And same thing, I mean, I pick a line, but this is just, I mean, you just got to really feel out the speed. Might go, what, a little to the left, I think? I think so. But it's just all speed. Oh! Oh, man. A little bit outside of my I chip. thought it was close, but yeah, it burned the edge. Okay, one of the good things about seeing go by the hole was I got to see the break, so I was just gonna slide a little to the left. This is not a very far putt, maybe three feet, two inches. Play it inside right. That's why you practice those. Easy speedy. <laughs> nice part. I got about three footer here, maybe. Tops. Inside right. Good putt, laddie. Thank you, laddie. All right, Blair, what's the distance? All right, got 112, downhill, downwind. Three feet past this hole to the left is a giant ridge that goes down, so you gotta land this thing short right. So I got a gap wedge, and I'm just gonna chip this thing like I did earlier with that nine iron. There you go. Uh-oh, it's going a little left, though. It might be short, though. Fight! Uh-oh. Oh no, there it goes. Uh-oh. Wait, did it stay up there? No, it's going down now. No, it stayed. No, it's down. It's well, actually, no, it's you're on right. top. It's not moving. Wow. I mean, I'm literally one six inches from going down that hip that ridge. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be uh, yeah. Alright, Gabe, what do you got? What are you gonna hit here? I'm gonna do the same thing, just a 
knock down gap wedge and just placing way out to the right. All right. Is that recording player? Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah, get up a little bit. All right. Shot. That's yeah. a safe play there. Really, that's the only play. Yeah, that's I mean, a smart play. I got really lucky to be where I ended up. So we got Gabe's ball over there about 18 feet or so, just right of the pin. And we have my ball probably around 20 feet and is left of the pin. And literally if I went two feet more, I would have been down this giant ridge here. And this is giving me an idea of like where they're putting these pins today. What would you say I am right here? Five feet from the hole? Mm, yeah, about five feet. So let's see if this thing, yeah. So see, that's five feet. Drop it straight down. And look at that thing go. Is that even gonna stay on the green? I mean, you do not want that putt, and I was on the verge of going down here, but I got really lucky. I mean, this is about a four or five foot high hill there, so. And you know, they said this isn't how the green, the pins are every day, but today they had the men's group and they wanted to make it real difficult, you know, just to have some fun. So it's not like this all the time. Whoa! These greens are got about three and a half, four feet. Um, I'm actually gonna have some break on it. It breaks a lot left to right. I, I might even have to play this almost outside of the hole. All right. All right, good pop. Thank you. Okay, you guys, so I got about 18 feet here, downhill, right to left. Blair just said he thought I could actually put this down the hill if I'm not careful, so I'll make sure I pay it my respects and Hit it nice and easy. Reach, reach. Oh yeah. Hey, Butter we got, muffins. We got one back there. Yeah, nice putt. Thanks. Hey you guys, take a look at my new glove uh, logos I got in. This is rubber and it's actually really clear. It looks really good, but the fitting isn't right. The material's pretty good, but the fitting isn't right. So I gotta keep working on these gloves until I get them just right. All right, Blair, what's the D? All uh, right, 120, downwind. Hit a sandwich here. Uh, greens are firm, so you wanna land it a little short if you can. It's not gonna spin back today. Settle. Oh my oh, God, that's, that's gonna, right that's where gonna, I didn't wanna go. That's gonna be such a hard putt. Yeah. Jesus, this is... Kill All right, Gabe, what are you going to hit? I got a sandwich to 120, probably playing like 115 to the pin, but it's downwind. I almost feel like I need to hit like a little 110 shot, I suppose. You don't want to go long or else you have no chance of making birdie. It's all over it. Is it enough? Yeah, it's Yeah, falling. well, at least I got a putt. It's going to be 20 footer, but at least it, there's a chance of it going in. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Uh, I got about like two or three feet of landing space to actually get this thing close. Um, so I got to stop this thing with trajectory and spin. And uh, what I like to do in order to get trajectory, like to have it like high and soft, is uh, instead of having that forward press, you know, get this thing kind of right on top of it, maybe even behind it. But I like to make sure to get the spin is to have my weight and my spine angle like on top of it. So that way I can kind of clip it. If your spine angle is too far back, you'll either scoop it or blade it. So get this thing back here, wait on top, and then just kind of have really soft hands on it. Oh, I missed that by one foot to be really good. That's but it's close. not bad though. It's about, it's about five feet. Five feet, yeah, it's not bad. We'll take that. So you guys, once again, as you can see, this thing's about one, two paces off from the side. So I'm kind of giving it some respect and I hit my wedge a little heavy, if I were to be honest. Well, but, there's that ridge that's right here that's only about Yeah, this five is another one. If I right. drop this, I mean, four feet away, this is going to go down another yeah. 30 feet. Mm. All right. Park. 
Pai, 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 pai. Thank you. Is this firm all day, man? Hey, you guys. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it and you want to see more course vlogs, then subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook, Gabriel M. Ryder, Instagram, PGA Tour Driven. Check out my membership website, you guys. Links all down below. Thanks. More videos to come. I'll talk to you later. Peace.